is our resident cowboy. He filled up our gas can. Oh, you're looking good there. <laughs> well, hey, nice talking with you, Mark. Yes. And uh, nice seeing your good looks there. Yeah. And I'm going to be at your party tonight, uh, yeah. sometime after sunset, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, see you, see you later. later, Mark. Yeah, we have copious te tequila. Oh, really? Copious amounts of tequila. Okay, I'm Come pacing on. myself so I can enjoy it. Yeah, you so gotta pace yourself a little bit here, Bernie. Yeah. We'll be later. <laughs> hey, look who's here. All right. Yeah. If it isn't Debbie oh, yeah. Murphy and Mark King, how you guys yeah. doing? Yeah. Great. Hey, how you I doing? Drew on you. you drew on me. Yes. Yeah. We're here at the art car. Yeah. That says Art On, Burning Man 2010. You want to do it? Would be toy spinning what on was a that? trampoline. Oh, that would be cool. And like, we need to have someone who's like really good at trampoline too, so they can do flips while doing like the weave, like back. Sorry about it, ladies, but I uh, hope you can take it. Now let's start uh, with you. What do you like about Burning Man? Me? Um, should I look at the camera? You, you can look at me. Actually. Okay. I don't really. Um, I just love the atmosphere and the people here that are just like everyone's so loving and caring and like we all kind of respect each other except for you know for a few people and then I also love the culture here the art and the free the just the free expression that everyone has to so just be who they want to be and be who they are really yeah what are some of your favorite art cars or installations or camps I like ours <laughs> yeah I guess some I, I really love our Playa Stani car She's a beauty. Uh, so it's, what's the name of it? Uh, it's the uh, Pyro Bar uh, for Enclave. Yeah. And uh, and there's aerobatics off the back. Right? Yeah, we have um, yeah we have aerials off the back so people you know climb around on the fabric and then we have people serving drinks in the bar um, on the sides and stuff and then we also have um, pyrotechnics going on so we have um, kind of like these two like things in the front that shoot up flames and then one Very at the top cool. that shoots flames. Yeah. So tell me, uh, what do you think about Burning Man? What do you like I think about it's it? probably one of the best experiences I've had. It's amazing. It's like all this expression put into this giant like semicircle and they're all here for like the same purpose. It's awesome. Really? It's do you great. have any favorite uh, things out there that you've seen? Um, there's a lot. There's too many to count. But a few of my favorites is definitely our art car. It's really fun to dance on. Um, I love Nexus, it's like a big party. Nexus? And then La Luna Lady, she's awesome. Well, where's La Luna Lady? La Luna Lady, she's a giant sculpture and she oh. glows different colors at night. I saw that, she's it's great. Amazing. La Luna. And, and what is Nexus? Nexus is right down this way, close to our camp, and it's like a pretty much a big party and it's an obstacle course and there's performances every night. It's, it's a fun time. Okay, Definitely. well thanks, thanks ladies. Alright, thank we'll see you. Ya. Thanks, bye! bye. How's your burn going? You know, it's funny. Yeah. It's my 11th burn. And you'd think I'd be used to setbacks and challenges. <laughs> but they, they can still be annoying yeah, and frustrating yeah. sometimes. Does it have to do with having expectations? Or just expectations, what? yes. Like expectations that I will get sleep and expectations that I will finish setting up my dome despite not having all the poles to do so <laughs> at the moment and expectations that I will get to spend time with the one that I love. Yes, and those, those are expectations. <laughs> one of our lessons we have to learn here is avoid the expectations. <laughs> well, you're looking good and it sounds like you're going with the flow. Thank you. Okay, well have a good burn. You too. <laughs> How's your burn going? Hi. How's your burn going? Great, flip it. Good, I'm glad you're having a good awesome. one. Good. <laughs> It's the uh, 
that yellow button. Okay, here's a little time jump. I'm back home, but I want to kind of show you how Burning Man's laid out. Here's an aerial photo of Burning Man. This is where all the people camp in this area here. This is the big open playa area. The man is right here. Center camp is right here. The way the streets are laid out, this is 12 o'clock. This is 12. To, this is 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So this would be street 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. And then the concentric circles this way. By the way, this is the Esplanade. The front row is all the big theme camps. Uh, this is A Street is the first street, and then B Street, then C Street, D Street, and then the outer ring was J Street. It's three miles from here to here. All the art installations are out on the playa and then the deep playa. So people start camping up front and then they come back here and then f eventually 50,000 people fill up this whole area. So let's go back to Burning Man.
We're at Burning Man 2010 out on the playa. The playa is where all these art installations are. Another uh, dust storm is coming up. I got a bag around my camera, but I got to cover up my camera for this dust storm. Whoa! Saturday night, and then Sunday night, the temple burns, and this is the temple. People write messages to their loved ones that have died, or or whatever messages they want, and I'm going to document some of those messages on the temple walls. They're getting married in the temple. How you doing? Uh, hey, what did you just see, Mark? Larry, Larry, you've got to come. We have to go now. It's the most amazing thing in the plaza. I had to dash back. I had thousands of wonderful experiences, but at Mijuana, they're doing open wrestling. Luchadores, male and female. It's incredible. The guys are doing all the stuff that the acrobatics do in World Wrestling Federation, and the women are tearing off their face masks and tearing off their clothes and just going for the mat. It's incredible. It's absolutely amazing. The beer is free-flowing, and there's not just for everyone. The crowd's going crazy. We've got to go now! Where is it? It's at Athens and 7.30. Okay. It's and so by, close. By the way, what was your idea, your thought about Burning Man? Oh, gosh. Okay. Can, can now I have to compose oh, myself. So sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, as a conservative, one of the, th there's a couple things here that really, principles that really impressed me. One is it 100% self-reliant. Huh. Now, as a conservative, I go, wow, that's a very cool thing. And then there's this thing called gifting, where you generously provide things to other people who need it. Hmm. And then as I was looking at those two things, I thought to myself that I had a, last night, 
it was it was such a beautiful day yesterday. The the weather was calm. It was a gorgeous day. The weather was great, and I thought, oh wow, I wonder if tomorrow will be the same. And my first impulse was to pull out my iPhone, which doesn't work here. But my first impulse was to check the newspaper, look at the news, my iPhone. Will tomorrow be like today? Uh huh. And I stopped to think. Wait a minute. So. What I was compelled to do is to know if tomorrow would be as good as today. And then I thought, in the spirit of what this all is, wait a minute, what if I didn't have to know what tomorrow was going to be? What if I just took today as what it was and I dealed with it, whatever it was as it came? And what if tomorrow I just let tomorrow happen the way it unfolds? And with the spirit of 100% self-reliance, like I will take care of myself tomorrow with whatever comes, and I don't need to know what comes, and I can let it be a surprise and a gift to me. Like tomorrow could be a gift that I receive, and I don't have to question it, and I don't have to know in advance and prepare in advance, because with my principle of 100% self-reliance, I know at any time, I will take care of myself and my family and the people around me and the people who need me. Interesting. It was it was a very so it's kind of a very conservative moving. the Burning Man is kind of a conservative philosophy. In Absolutely. Yeah. It, it it embraces the cons conservative philosophies of self-reliance and I'm adding on to that the idea of just being ready and accepting of what each day brings and it's very amazing, and I'm very grateful to have that observation and to have it come into me. <laughs> Radical self-reliance, as they say it. Here. Yes. And so back to the wrestling now, huh? Time back to, to the wrestling. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Did you fight Round two, round two. We go back to Germany. Oh. You do spidey quiet. I like all the spidey quiet. Go in. You got a Puto Madre grabbing one of Spider's legs. He doesn't seem very happy about this, but Puto Madre is taking it. No mercy.
Uh, the first one. That, that's, that's what you learned? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have any obsessions? Uh, um, with the clouds. Yeah. Very cool. I love them. Nice. Uh, what drives you nuts? Uh, crowds. <laughs> uh, who's your favorite celebrity? Uh, that would be. Woo. Hey, what's your favorite celebrity? My what? Favorite celebrity? Favorite celebrity. Uh, I would have to say this girl right here. This is a Miss Black Rock City 2010. I miss Black Rock City. Whoa. Congratulations. She Thank became you. a celebrity yesterday, and um, our life has been different ever since. That's cool. Um, ask her what she did to win the contest. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about it. Okay. So what I did to uh, win the contest was I had to um, perform. Yeah. And so my performance was um, half a hula hoop routine and half lap dance. To the judges? Okay. To the judges. I gave all the judges lap dances. Nice. For how long? Um, it was about three minutes. Okay. And then there was a and question. And I had to answer a question. Oh, was it a tough one? Uh, what's that? It was a difficult one? No, I mean, they asked me what the most adorable thing was that I'd ever seen. Yeah. And of course it was me. Oh. So that was the oh, that wasn't me? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's just happening now, right? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Have a wonderful one. That helped too, probably. Let's do a couple other questions. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, do, you have any, do you have any special... I'll interview you next. Uh, okay. Do you have any special talents? Well, I suppose, yeah, otherwise I, I wouldn't be living right now. So I guess uh, I have very good talent at uh, challenging myself. Yeah. Nice. What's cool and what's uncool? Well, cool is this, uncool is war. Okay. Uh, do you have a favorite munchie? A what? A favorite munchie? Who do you like to munch on? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, uh, I have a kind of uh, obsession since I was a kid with tomatoes. I love them. God bless the tomatoes. <laughs> okay. uh, let's see. What's your passion? Um, it thinks, oh, he's not speaking to me. Um, passion, I'm passionate about uh, uh, human, uh, Computer interaction. Okay. Yeah. Last one. How are you eco-friendly? How are you friendly to the environment? What do you do? Um. What well, one thing I, I, I mean, you, you might think about very complicated things, you know, how you try to help. But there is a very basic one, which is like not letting things go. You know, just. <laughs> If you see something in the desert and it's not yours, but it's there, like it's trash, just pick it up. So, you know, okay. being alert. Could you say that again? That I, I think I'm random trash. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I was saying that um, I forgot now. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 exactly. So you're walking and you see some trash on the floor and you just pick it up. Even if it's not yours. So, yeah, uh, being alert about. Uh, trash forgotten by others. Right. Yeah. And tell me, what do you think about this whole Burning Man experience? Uh, that's a not very random question, though. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that's for t I'm doing two different things. I'm asking random questions, and then I'm also making a video about Burning Man. All right. All right. So, do you have any thoughts about Burning Man? Uh, well, it's my first time, this one. And, uh... Is it any different than you thought? Um... Uh, I imagine and uh, all, I have mental pictures of you know the art and the music and stuff, uh, but I couldn't imagine like uh, the human-to-human -human interaction, social interaction, 
how people decide to cook pancakes because they're social because you don't cook just one pancake right when you do it you do it for many people so and it, uh, this is like a I'm feeling like in uh, in between of a video game and a museum of social interactions yeah and uh, I love it uh, I live in Spain I'm from Argentina half German so it's all over. What do you do for a living? Um, what I do for a living? Um, well, I suppose I'm, you know, working on fulfilling my dreams, and in the way, some other people's dreams as well, by means of uh, entrepreneurship. You know, I have my own company. Uh, I create employment. Employment. Yeah. So um, it's uh, internet related, internet stuff, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Can I use your interview? Thank you, sure, you can do, yeah. Great. Okay, let me make sure I'm getting audio. Tell me, uh, what, uh, what lesson have you learned in life? I've learned that you need to go with the flow and drink lots of water. I'm obsessed with the band Fish, and uh, I follow them around the country. And I also used to be obsessed with the TV show Lost until it ended, but it's still, uh, yeah, I have some obsessions. Who's your favorite celebrity? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, off the top of my head, the the biggest celebrities that I know of are the I already already said I'm obsessed with Fish. I like uh, Trey Anastasio, the guitar player, and then in Lost, uh, I I really love the um, the actor that plays Desmond Hume. What lesson have you learned in life? You already asked me that. Um, it drives me nuts when people drive slow in the left lane. Um, I asked your passion, didn't I? What are your politics? Um, politics, I believe, are a pro wrestling match. If you've ever seen like a WWF pro wrestling match where the outcome is kind of already decided behind closed doors and then they go out and one person says this and the other person says that and sure there's a little improv and things like that but it's really just a big show to make everybody feel like something's actually happening that's the way I view politics Do you have any special talents? I have a lot of talents um, yeah I have a superpower that I can um, bring life to a party and make white people dance Um, you know what? I uh, I really wanted to munch on. I had some snack-sized Kit Kats, but I can't eat them during the day because they're melted in the box, and so I have to I have to wait till night until they reform. But uh, yeah, I like I like chocolate. Um, I think it's it's really cool when the girl just um, you know kisses me without too much problem or doesn't complain too much or just has a good time you know and I think it's totally uncool when we have to talk about it. When I put my hand over the lens, what do you think it means? Just you're gonna do a stop, a cut. It means it's, now those are really good. Ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to tell people though, because if I don't do it. Right, right. Um, are you doing anything to be eco-friendly? Yeah, we we have um, three cans. One is uh, recycle, one is burn, and one is trash. And just trying to leave no trace. That I, that idea. I used to teach uh, backpacking in northern New Mexico, 
And so, yeah, I, I'm behind the leave no trace kind of thing. Pick up after yourself. Leave it better than where you, where you began. Um, now, is, is this, how many times have you been to Burning Man? This is my first. Oh, first, okay. So tell me, what are your impressions of Burning Man? How is it any different than you thought? And what, what, what do you find really good? Well, I'm a, I'm a big music festival person, so I've been to quite a few camping festivals. And so I, I knew what to expect a little bit from just the, the idea that there's a bunch of people camping out together and community but um i'm kind of blown away by the scope of how big things are that people bring in uh just there's not just a couple things that are big there's a lot of things that are big and and even people that don't particularly have um you know this they haven't been coming here for a long time it just seems like everybody brings something that's substantial and so I'm very impressed by the, by really the community group effort. There's not really one person where anybody's like, oh yeah, that person has this, that person has that. It's just there's thousands of, of, uh, of contributions that are that are pretty substantial. It's really neat. Tell me about your outfit. Um, this is the Fuzzy Buddy Brigade, and I'm gonna walk around and make sure that people have everybody has a Fuzzy Buddy. Um, People can uh, pick out whatever they want. They just have to name them. And if they can't think of a name, then I ask them what their the name of their ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend is, and then that's their name, and they have to keep them. Any other messages to the folks out in GB land? Um, I would say just uh, every day is, is exactly where you're supposed to be, and the only thing you can do is enjoy the present and enjoy where you are. And um, I think if you if you just be present, be happy with what you have and the people you're with, then um, that's really the secret to being happy in life. Nice. Can you tell me where you're from and your occupation? Yeah, I'm from Denver, Colorado, and I'm a financial advisor. And do I have your permission to use this interview? Yes, you do. Okay, good. So we'll start over. All so right. Mark, uh, tell me your impressions of Burning Man. Oh, it's incredible. It's wild and crazy. The costumes everywhere, the mutant ve vehicles. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't count how many thousands of them there are. And the only thing better than the mu mutant vi uh, vehicles by day are the mu mutant vehicles, say that five times fast, at night. They're all lit up into various shapes and, and different explosions of fire and sound and music everywhere you turn. Ah, well, it's actually, it's actually wilder than I thought it would be, with things happening everywhere you look at every single turn, and it's like a, an adult Disneyland that you can't see enough of because it goes on forever. Uh, now I'm going to ask you some man on the street questions. Okay. Um, what lesson have you learned in life? Lesson in life: uh, don't waste time. Favorite celebrity? Hmm. Gosh, celebrity. Uh, let's see, who would I say? Oh, well, like Arnold Schwarzenegger comes to mind. What obsession do you have? Do you have any obsession? Obsession. Sudoku. Sudoku puzzles. We do them in the morning over coffee and during breaks during the day and uh, puts us to sleep at night. Sudoku puzzles are really great. In fact, I, I'm doing a Sudoku uh, contribution to Burning Man. I have 200 puzzles, and I teach anybody who wants to get out of the sun and take a break and sit down and do a Sudoku puzzle. Later on, I'd like to try that. Okay. What drives you nuts, or what's your pet peeve? Uh, let's see. My pet peeve is people around me who are impatient. Like, you know, when you go to the grocery store, you should only go to the grocery store when you have time. So. You know, it's not a uncomfortable or waiting in line gets you uncomfortable. It never does for me because I go ready to be patient. And so people who are impatient, you know, annoys me. Yeah. I go, you know, get a break. You're in the market. So there are lines in the market, you know. Um, what's your passion? Do you have any uh, travel. Travel and food. Good food. Uh, what are your politics? Only if you want to 
Uh, conservative. Conservative politics uh, definitely has been for 25 years now. Uh, do you have any special talents? I play pretty good piano and do it a lot of times for different groups or senior citizens or at special occasions. That's a lot of fun. Do it at church. Uh, what's your favorite munchie? Munchie. My favorite munchie would be... Um, they're bacon-wrapped uh, water chestnuts soaked in uh, soy sauce and rolled in sugar. Um, and their name escapes from me right now, but it's really wonderful. Bacon-wrapped water chestnuts. Ramaki. That's what it is. Ramaki. <laughs> Ramaki. R-U-M-A-K-I. Hmm. What's cool is giving people a break and letting the best come out of them. And what's uncool is writing people off. How are you eco-friendly? Uh, let's see. I'm eco-friendly. I always finish my beer. I, I, I don't waste beer. And um, also I try to finish the food on my plate. So, you know, it doesn't go to waste. Well, just that wish you were here. The only thing missing from uh, Burning Man is a contingent from Carpinteria uh, beyond the three or four or five of us. I'd love to see about a hundred of us next time and have a Carpinteria camp of madness. Sounds good. And tell me um, where you live in your occupation. I live in Carpinteria on Foothill Road, and we have a real estate company in town. Hey, thanks, Mark. Good job. Can all right. You use your interview? Absolutely. Thanks for all of it. Bye, Larry. It's just outrageous. Um, just sitting in my little space watching people go by in their um, best Santa hat. Well, that's the only thing they have on. Or, or uh, the guys in the best skirts they could find at the thrift store. Thrift stores must make a lot of money because of Burning Man. It's very cool. How is it different than I thought it would be? Um, it's bigger than I could imagine. And uh, I thought the elements would be rougher than they are. I expected a lot more nasty, blinding dust storms. I expected it to be hotter, although it's reasonably hot today. And um, right now, it's probably all of 80 degrees. It's just dry. And um, I thought I would be dancing more. But, but maybe I will still be dancing by the week goes on. Um, well, what, what things have you seen that you thought were really special or spectacular? Well, the art on the playa was uh, mind blowing. That um, 50 foot women, woman, um, I can't imagine how they so perfectly captured a form that tall and in that kind of perspective so that she looked proper. Um, that was an amazing thing to see and um, uh, some sort of metal and mesh wire. I assume it was metal. Looked like it was uh, like uh, an erector set turned into a woman. Stunningly beautiful. And uh, just the outrageous creativity that I see in every single place I look. It's just people set free. It's very cool. Uh, to keep going. No matter what, just move on, move on, move on. I'm assuming you'll edit out the part where I was scratching my nose. <laughs> what's, what's your, do you have any obsessions? What's your obsession? Obsessions. Um, I'm obsessed with being prepared. Probably. You can tell by how stuff the van was when we got here yeah prepared for anything and saving things so that I would be prepared which means that everything is chaos around me That's good. Uh, what lesson have you learned in life? didn't we just do that one <laughs> we're gonna go to a new lesson then <laughs> uh, who's your favorite celebrity? Uh, Johnny Depp I'm expecting to see him here today
I think he would be the one I'd want to see with his dreadlocks, yeah. Uh, what drives you nuts or what's your pet peeve? People not being on time. Uh, what's your passion? Um, well, my passion is, is really drawing and I don't do it enough, but I love to draw. I love to get lost in that space when I'm drawing. I have some drawings to do while I'm here, I think. Uh, what are your politics? Do you uh, a conservative hippie. I can touch my tongue to the tip of my nose. We talked about this and I can do it for you. Wow. Here you go. Oh, really? Very nice. Your <laughs> uh, what's your favorite munchie? That's my real I heard you ask other people this question and I thought every single food is my favorite munchie. Uh, that's, that's why I'm not wearing one of those little bikinis. It's every single food. Way too many munchies. Well, I think anything would be cool, and what would be uncool is people who would stop you from being cool. Well, great. And tell me, um, uh, where do you live, and uh, where do you live, and what is your uh, occupation? I live in Carpinteria, California, and I'm a real estate broker. Tell me what you think about Burning Man again. I love Burning Man. I love Burning Man. I'm uh, annoyed that my knee isn't cooperating with Burning Man, but it's part of my Burning Man experience. Hey, would you like to be interviewed? Yes. Yes, we have a taker. Okay, I'm well, Thank you, camera. Random, they are random. I think it's a big craft show. A big, disheveled craft show. Um, I, uh, you know, Burning Man is about, for me, about being crafty and using glue and getting back to your grandma roots, you know? Everybody's grandma crafts, you know? And it's everybody trying to outcraft each other, altruistically. Yeah. What's cool, not necessarily about the fire, but what's cool and what's uncool? Uncool? Fuzzy uh, boots. Hot chicks. Hot chicks are cool. I, I know another uncool thing. People pulling their luggage out of the back of their car naked, especially if their balls hang down to their knees. That's uncool. You know? Who wants to see saggy balls? You know? Even if I was gay, I wouldn't want to see that. You know, come on. Put your satchel away, all right, burners? Unload your small carry-on with shorts on. We don't want to see your ass crack and your gnarly balls. All right, any other questions? I, yeah, I do anesthesia for a living and I live in Tampa, Florida. I'm a nurse anesthetist, a CRNA. Thank you. Do I have your permission to use this not, not my profession and where I'm from. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Good show. Thank you. <laughs> hey, so uh, what, do you, what do you think about Burning Man? What do you like and dislike about it? I, I like being able to do whatever the fuck I want. Like hump this sheep right now. Hump it out. Hump it out. Uh, I like the art, actually, and I really like all the naked women. That's one of my favorites. And my sheep. <laughs> uh, now some more random questions. What's your favorite munchie? My favorite munchie? I like to eat steak, actually. Like, I'll cook a big steak and then just eat steak for a munchie. It's pretty good. Nice. Or sheep's pussy. That's good, too. Um, what's your passion? Fucking the sheep. Hump it out. Hump it out, ladies. Hump it out. Hump it out. Uh, what lesson have you learned in life? <clears throat> uh, I guess just be yourself. Do what you want. Be an individual. Don't be the same. Nice. Who's your favorite celebrity? My favorite celebrity? Who's my favorite celebrity? It's not David Bowie. That's for sure. Uh, I don't know. 
Okay, I've come back to that question. <laughs> what drives me nuts? Uh, I guess just pessimism, negativity. I think I'm independent. I don't know. I might be a Democrat, though, because I really liked Obama in this last thing. But I don't usually follow politics. Uh, do you have a special talent? I'm pretty good at fucking. Hump it out. Hump it out. Come on, give me a hump. Hump it out. Hump it out. You want to. You know you do. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't say that one. Humping this sheep's pretty cool. Hump it out. Hump it out. Thank you. Thank you. What's cool? I don't know. Just being at Burning Man, doing whatever you want. Oh, hell yeah. Hump it out. Hump it out. <laughs> hump it out. You got to hump it out. Yeah, it's a little faded right now, but. And where are you from? What do you do for a living? I'm from Northern California. I'm actually a tree climber. I use a chainsaw for a living and ropes and stuff. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, well, good interview. Can I use this interview? Yeah, of course you can. I'm still trying to think of who my favorite celebrity is. It's, uh, maybe some magician or something. Chris Angel's pretty cool. Okay, good. I don't know. That's good. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey, so, uh, you are? My name is Mark Gurner. What's going on out here? Dust, heat, sweat and uh, debauchery. Now, you telling me a little bit about the art car in your camp here. Yeah, yeah, it's a collaborative effort uh, from some of the Fishbone people from Santa Barbara, but uh, it's uh, spearheaded by my girlfriend, Corinna Schmidt. She uh, took a car that uh, was uh, with a clandestino group, um, and uh, they kind of released it to us uh, graciously for us to play with, and so we've done a remodel over it, kind of taking an Afghani, Pakistani jingle truck theme and then fusing it with uh, oh, Chinese junk and uh, just the junk we find. <laughs> so, uh, and it's right now parked in front of your Enclave sign. Yes, the Enclave sign. Uh, gratuitous amounts of quarter-inch steel bent to try to look like uh, Arabic and English fused. That's very cool. And at night it's all lit up. Now yeah, the, it's got Christmas lights in there. The back of the art car, what's going on? Oh, uh, well, it's got the crane that was uh, welded up and, de and designed, I believe, by a guy named uh, Greenman, uh, another Santa Barbara guy, who's now, uh, I think, living uh, elsewhere, but uh, great guy. And we basically took that same construct and we added to it. We put all the utilities inside the piping, and then we uh, added a fire effect. And so this is a, a fire effect done by John Lawrence. It was on a previous uh, vehicle that he did, uh, Surrey, that he did for Burning Man last year. Uh, so that was 09. And uh, we basically took the same uh, piece and uh, installed it on top of the car and we added lighting and essentially it just gets a uh, gas feed up one of the stanchions of the crane, feeds the uh, accumulator and then with a solenoid valve we can trigger off fire burrs. So this is a very common part of Burning Man uh, art cars and some of the structures is to have these what are called puffers. And so puffers are essentially just solenoid valves releasing copious amounts of propane that you hope light up and so we uh, we got the he, we finally tweaked our pilots so that uh, we have a pretty good success ratio of and, and off the fire. cantilever there people do acrobatics yeah right? yeah while a, the car is traveling or when you park oh you know we want to do more of that but basically we park for safety and also so people can watch it and like you know observe the performance and it's amazing uh, we took it out on our first night I think it was Monday night and we had. Um, I think six or seven aerial performers that either knew the car was going to be out there or just randomly saw it. One of them was a guy that I believe teaches the Cirque Berserk people hmm. and uh, is a teacher. Uh, done it for 12 years and he just like got into his male underoos and just spun up there and did an amazing show. Um, you know, one of those things where you can spin and then drop and then kind of lock into the silks right before the ground. Uh, you know, amongst other things. So that was really a pleasure to see because it was a, great to see something that's a part of your hardware. Uh, actually getting utilized by somebody random. Nice. And what's great about Burning Man is you, the litigious behavior is not really present. So oh, as long huh. as people behave well uh, and within some realm of responsibility, it's sort of like to each his own. 
you feel that you can you know jump from one thing to another you do it if you make a mess and you break your ankle well you broke your ankle you know deal with it well what do you do in the default world uh, I do uh, concept illustration uh, which is uh, artwork uh, done mostly on, on my side of things on Photoshop or sketches for gaming and film industry and, and you were saying your your structure here next year or what, what are your plans for the well, future? I'd like to I'd like to make a, a, a solid attempt with uh, the art installation group here at Burning Man to get something into the playa which is essentially the center center span and I want to build something that um, can be uh, kinetic so a kinetic architecture piece that uh, you know that people can get around has movement built into a projection possibly and work with a few other local artists in Santa Barbara to make that happen but uh, but have like probably a singular vision on that one but we'll hopefully work with people as much as possible to make it happen as well you know with regard to the electrics the, uh, the construction and fabrication uh, and so on. Yeah. So, does working out here inspire you in your more commercial work? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I, absolutely. I mean, I love this. It's good for the body. It's good for the soul. It's 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 egregious. It's an egregious environment. <laughs> but if you can handle it and you can uh, roll with it, um, it's, a high, it's a very pleasurable experience. And what do you like about Burning Man overall? Well, it's complicated, I think. I mean, some of it, you can simply say it's really just about uh, a uh, wide, vast, gratuitous expression. You know, just like, it's just, people are just going nuts. Uh, in costume, some people show up and they only have a backpack, but in the backpack is just, you know, the strangest co costume and makeup. Um, then you have people that are uh, building structures and doing art cars. Uh, people are doing spoken word and writing and, and sketching and artwork. People do graffiti on some of the containers and, you know, it goes on and on and on performance art. We've got a group right here next to us that just does live improvisational music. Um, so, what I'm really looking forward to... Hey there. Hey, so uh, where are we here? Are we at Center Camp? We're in Center Camp at the cafe in Black Rock City. Yeah. Get over here! Yes. She, she wanted to be called Sweetheart. Yeah. So, so uh, we were in line here together getting yeah. coffee at the Center Camp Cafe and I said, uh, what are you up to, where do you live, and what do you do? And you had an interesting story, so uh, let me get it here. Yeah, of course. So, uh, so where are you from and what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm from Sacramento, California. I now live in Brooklyn, New York. And I sell Obama condoms in Times Square. How's that working out? Uh, it's been pretty good. It's been my only job since graduating college, which was two years ago. So, and and have you made any money? I've I've done well enough to get myself a new computer, and I went to Europe for a while. So it's it's been, and I got back to Burning Man uh, both summers. So I've done pretty well. Um, how would you describe Burning Man, and why do you come here? Uh, I come here now for a different reason than I came here initially. Yeah. I came first for a new experience and I thought there might be something out here for me to grow and learn. I still come out for that, but I tend to know it better now. And now I have community here, so I come out to see people I love who I don't get to see during the, uh, the regular year. That's very cool. Uh, yeah. And any messages to the folks out in TV land? The message to the folks out in TV land. If you feel like you should come out here, if there's something in your soul that says, maybe I should go out there and see what it's all about, you should come out, say yes to that feeling, because it's, uh, it's going to bring you something. It's going to be very good. Okay, hey, thanks a lot. Yeah. Have a good burn. You too. So can you tell me what's going on here? What's what's your This place? is the World Health Organization for Response for Epidemics. And we're here on the playa treating playa mouth. Here we are. This is our organization. And it's a wonderful one to belong to. I'm Nurse E. Jackie Lation. Just call me Jackie. And what's who, who, I don't know. Nurse Dottie. 
Nurse Nadia. Yes. And and what what are you doing for people? We're we're treating. We're preventing fire mouth. You know, which let me show you a picture of a worst case. Okay. This is what we want. Okay. All right. This right here is the worst plyo mount. You Even want to prevent this. <laughs> right? No! Help me! Let me see that chunk. Oh, we got it. It's getting bad. Oh, 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 my, oh my, my God. I never want sex God. again. Oh, no, does does he need a case of oral? That was my before picture. Now what, is, what does he need? <laughs> what does he need? That was me. Oh, oral 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 oral
but I don't get to see during the uh, the regular year. That's very cool. Yeah. And any messages to the folks out in TV land? The message to the folks out in TV land, if you feel like you should come out here, if there's something in your soul that says, maybe I should go out there and see what it's all about, you should come out, say yes to that feeling, because it's, uh, it's going to bring you something. It's going to be very good. Okay, hey, thanks a lot. Yeah. Have a good burn. You too. Hey, so uh, where are we here? Are we at Center Camp? We're in Center Camp at the cafe in Black Rock City. Hey, you with the camera! Yeah. Get over here! Yes. She, she wanted to be called Sweetheart. Yeah. So, so uh, we were in line here together getting yeah. coffee at the Center Camp Cafe and I said, uh, what are you up to, where do you live, and what do you do? And you had an interesting story, so uh, let me get it here. Yeah, of course. So, uh, so where are you from and what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm from Sacramento, California. I now live in Brooklyn, New York, and I sell Obama condoms in Times Square. How's that working out? Uh, it's been pretty good. It's been my only job since graduating college, which was two years ago. So, and and have you made any money? I've I've done well enough to get myself a new computer, and I went to Europe for a while. So it's it's been, and I got back to Burning Man uh, both summers. So I've done pretty well. Um, how would you describe Burning Man, and why do you come here? Uh, I come here now for a different reason than I came here initially. Yeah. I came first for a new experience and I thought there might be something out here for me to grow and learn. I still come out for that, but I tend to know it better now. And now I have community here, so I come out to see people I love who I don't get to see during the, uh, the regular year. That's very cool. Uh, yeah. And any messages to the folks out in TV land? The message to the folks out in TV land. If you feel like you should come out here, if there's something in your soul that says, maybe I should go out there and see what it's all about, you should come out, say yes to that feeling, because it's, uh, it's going to bring you something. It's going to be very good. Hey, hey, thanks a lot. Yeah. Have a good burn. You too. All right, so this, this started out as kind of a rogue. I found a loophole to, to mock official vehicles and not get pulled over in a plane vehicle because I'm handicapped. And, you know, being... What's your handicap? Uh, it's just my ankles, knees, I've got a hip out of joint. It's just all not fun. Uh-huh, sorry. So, well... Eh. You're working with it well, though. Oh, totally. Yeah. Um, so I probably work harder than most of the people out here, because I, <laughs> if I'm out here, I'm working. If someone walks up to me and needs to get somewhere, I get them there. That's just the huh. deal. And you created your own department of something? Yeah, well, the Department of Transportation here. It started out as a tongue-in-cheek joke and, and just kind of grew into something serious. I was at a regional planning meeting and we were talking about how uh, the, the fire lanes were just getting glutted up and something had to be done. We were outside smoking a cigarette. I didn't realize I was talking to the head ranger for the region and he sees my truck and he, he goes, whoa. I said, yeah, that's mine. He says, you just volunteered. <laughs> so and they're letting you do it. That's very good. Yeah. So I ended up with the amber light bar on the roof for the regionals, and out here amber is a, a reserved color. So the only thing I could think of that I could do was turn them green, <laughs> and, and so that's why they're green out here. And so we've all decided that green is now reserved for the transport vehicles, so that they're easily recognizable. Um, hopefully this will actually come to fruition because I have zero authority whatsoever. And what does it say on the back of your truck? Uh, safety third. Now generally speaking, safety third is, is uh, a lot of people think that's like a, a way to dismiss it. Yeah. Uh, what it really is, is, is we, usually the first thing that happens is somebody says, wouldn't it be great if we could do X? And then somebody else figures out how to do it, and, and it's almost a mantra to remind us to just take a moment and step back and, okay, we're still gonna- And I guess um, someone did die last year right under, right, under an art car. Right. Well, what, what is first and second if safety's third? Well, uh, the, the running joke is first is hold my beer and second is, hey, watch this. <laughs> but it's it's- Really, you know, first an idea and, and, and then second is, is the means to accomplish it nice. and safety third. But uh, because a lot of us are rather scatterbrained, it, it, it's kind of turned into a chant because we need to remind ourselves to take a minute for safety. Yeah. So making a shopping list, it's, you know, bacon, 
eggs, safety, milk. You know, <laughs> it's sense. just a running joke to kind of keep it in the forefront. Hey, so uh, back a moment ago, you were describing what Burning Man's like. What'd you say? Oh, um, I. It's impossible to really describe this experience. I like to to describe it as. Try to imagine if Dr. Seuss had designed Las Vegas. <laughs> and, and that's about as close as I can come. There. Right. That's good. That's about as close and as I can And what was the other come. thing you said? The other thing is 50,000 of your closest right friends there. standing right together there. trying to be weirder than the person standing next to them. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I can't think of anything else. <laughs> think so. We had a situation last night. Yeah, um, what happened? Well, it's really unfortunate. Like I said, uh, a long time ago, uh, feeling like there needed to be a buffer between law enforcement and burners for this to be able to take place. And unfortunately, they're now sort of seen as just another arm of law enforcement. So I have a lot of people that flag me down. I come into some hairy situations. Last night was an excellent case in point. Uh, oh, hold on, I'm gonna do a quick pan. Last night, see, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, over there. Yeah, right. So what happened last uh, I night? was flagged down. Somebody had overindulged in ecstasy and LSD and was just losing it. So they want they they came to me because they were afraid to go to a ranger or anyone else because it involves something illegal. So we get here back to camp was not. A good idea. Trying to find sanctuary, which is actually set up for exactly that. Um, for the record, it's located behind the ranger camp at center camp. Huh. It's not on the map. Oh, okay. I was having a hell of a time finding it. <laughs> so the minute we crossed out of the nine o'clock, she starts vomiting. I turned around to the nine o'clock medical. They really didn't want anything to do with it. I, uh, and this is super rare, but a couple of rangers were amazingly unhelpful. I don't know who they were, I don't know why, I don't know who pissed in their Wheaties, it could be anything. That's very unusual, but just no one really wanted to get involved in that, and it took about an hour and a half to get her where she had to go. Um, I'm really hoping to be able to come up with some way of better handling situations like that. The first thing is that rangers are not law enforcement. Rangers are approachable. Um, they're not here to bust you or find your stash or any of that. They're here to help deal with problems before they become major. I gotcha. Well, thanks for the good interview. This is uh, from my home journal, Excellent. Burning Man 2010, Art Nimrod reporting. Excellent. I would really love a copy. Uh, do you have an email address? Yes, mindfunk13. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, one more time. Mindfunk13 at yahoo.com. And how do you spell mindfunk? M I N D F U N K. It is a beautiful shot right here. One last thing. Uh, why do you think people come here? What do you think they get out of it? Well, you know, this is, at least for me, I, everyone has their own reason. This is my reset button. <laughs> This is where I dump all the garbage from default world and just leave it behind. Including, unfortunately, uh, one year it was wedding rings. Oh, but it, it's, it's just kind of all the, the crap that we accumulate throughout the year. It's just, I let go of it out here. Uh, the normal standards of society don't really apply. Yeah. Out here, everybody pretty much does what they want to do as long as it doesn't interfere with someone else doing what they want to do. And that's just amazingly refreshing. It is. Hey, thanks for your uh, refreshing words. Well, thank you. It's the first time I've ever been interviewed. Down on the shed. That comes natural to you, yeah? <laughs>
That's just nice. <laughs> Sometimes, late at night. Oh, never mind. Anyways, we are going to count to three in German. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't see. I don't have my glasses. Is everybody mellow? Everybody had some scooter? Too much bankers going around the circle? What's going on, motherfuckers? Is everybody ready to count? I ran out of the German words. <laughs> so let's do it together! I'm This is going to be a tough one, you know why? That's okay, boy. boy. We're strong. Once they trust their strengths more than they do their intuitions, they need to listen to you. You, my friends! They need to listen to the count of their community, who they trust, who uphold them, who restore power. So don't look at each other. <laughs> don't even listen to Rothwang. Listen to your community as we count together. Will you assist me this time? Yeah! yeah! Say together we count! In there. That cracks me up because I see those guys all dressed in the black, you know? And I'm like, I can see right through that shit. You do? Yeah. I know they still play Dungeons and Dragons. They started working out, big dude. So, how many people do you think are tripping over under some kind of Cubatron like thing tonight, you know? Going, wow. You know, we were here doing... Anybody go to Fort of the Playa? You know, for the Playa? <laughs> we were here. When we had the hammer laid down on its side, we only watched the shank, you know? We called the shank. But it was laid out once we took the test. It was very nice. Once we had a little cuddle puddle afterwards. You know what I'm talking about? And I came and I joined the cuddle puddle and they're all lying down and they're all rolling balls. And I say, I, I, I lie down, and one of them lies on top of me. When she says, am I crushing you? Like that's a bad thing, right? <laughs> am I crushing you? I say, no, not really. 
I said, what do you think? She says, man, because of the way you're breathing. And I breathe like this, I go. <laughs> it's just a sense of relief I sometimes feel after the artist built. As the art is successful, as the art is as motherfucking cool as this Iron Hammer! <laughs> so let's bring three more Hammer Shamas out! On the store of power to our great metropolis! Give it a go, get the fear for the weight in your hands. Fuck yeah. No stranger to a hammer, are you? Hmm? Oh look at that stash, yeah. I like that. I let you in on little trinkets. I have a little handicap now here. <laughs> it does two things. It makes things a little more difficult in the timing. Your timing, if I crank it all the way up, uh, the, all the way to 10, which I have, your timing must be pinpoint accurate together. The good news is, if you do, once you reach the, shall we call it the payday, then the music is most sublime. Are you up to the challenge? Yeah, you may fail. You're strong, but are you accurate? Do you have the challenge to work together? Then I ask you, Black Rock City, will you join me in coming to three in Japan? Yeah. Ready? Aye! Aye. 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 You're getting a taste for a little more difficulty, yeah? Oh. But that's okay, I'll give you a hint. Don't look at each other. Listen only to your community. They will guide you, count the drama. Are you ready again? No. Yeah. Then, are you ready again? Yeah. yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go. Yeah. Three. Three. Motherfucking Bowie. But he went to Germany and did it right. 
Sucks. I'm feeling frisky. Hello, Dan Dots man. How are you, my friend? Are you getting enough rest? Did you enjoy your conjugal visit to Reno? <laughs> Me too. I like, I like good sex. Good efficient German sex. Are you okay with sex in America? Good, because I'm going to shave on your face and make a laugh for you. I am not when I do as I will! Break it up! Not that this motherfucker needs any practice. <laughs> but I'll give you a little hammer slamming time. Just pretend it's the artist and hit his fucking face. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Jellyfish. Mr. Diva Fish. All of you should be very, very excited! Something else. How can you ask me to be even more? How can he be so rude? So rude! How can he love you so much? So much. Out upon it then. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Huggy time! <laughs> Huggy time! <laughs> so now, he can prove his pudding. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Prove his strudel. Oh oh strike and he needs our help. Our help as a community. Don't you hate how you go to see a great movie and at the end, like, you want to clap, so you do. He's just like, it's a great movie, I don't care if he was listening. And it's like, I'm more than I'm more. I guess I won't be watching the credits anymore. So together we count, together as a community. Together we applaud, and together we raise the power. Ready? Do it, 
babies. We're going to count to three in German, and they are going to restore power. So, I ask you, I implore you, I beg you, count together with me. I, zwei, drei. I said I used to dream about things like this as I was growing up as a kid, you know what I mean? It's like, kind of like the dispensaries now, like I used to dream about that, like, oh, yeah, I was like, what if there would be like, you know, uh, like a candy store but for weed, and like now there is, you know, and like this today, it's like, what if something like this could happen, and it, it does, you know, it's awesome. And what was it? It was, it was called the critical tits part. Yeah, to me it was more than just like seeing a bunch of tits though, it was more like, um, like a display of like the work of art that like you know like that's like God's um, paintbrush and like women's also women feeling free about themselves about their breasts like men have that thing about their penis and all of that and it's like it's like a sense of liberation you know what I mean and that's why I wouldn't stop clapping I was one of the guys I was always clapping because I want to cheer that on and 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 and, and uh, not, I don't want to say inspire, but kind of perpetuate that in other people. Oh, you know, like you. keep that going. Thank you. It's a beautiful thing. That's what's making a difference. That's very cool. Yeah. Hey, yeah. thanks a lot. That's very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's, what's Would you care to tell me what you thought about the bike ride? Pardon me? Would you care to tell me what you thought about the Critical Tits bike ride? Oh, I thought it was plum wonderful. <laughs> plum wonderful. That's good. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah.
What do you think of Mega Vault? Plastic. He's a man. Huh? He's a man. This huh? is awesome. <laughs> this is godlike. What was that? This is godlike.
Thank you. Thanks for the uh, thank you, Mega Ball. That was cool. You got it. Right up. Uh, right thank up. you. Good to see you. Fish How are you? Larry. Good what? show here this evening. Thank you. Yeah, it was fun. It was good. Was it dangerous at all? Or any close calls? No, it felt good. I mean, the, the most dangerous thing is falling off the roof. So, oh, yeah. moving really slowly and carefully. Hey, Phil. How are you doing? How are you? That's funny. Yeah, no. I want to hug you because it hurts. <laughs> So we got the five elements of dancing here at Rhythm Wave. It's, it's feminine movement, it's male staccato, it's mirth or childlike, it's chaos, and it's quiet. Hey, we're at the Center Camp Cafe here at Burning Man 2010. I'm Art Nimrod, and I uh, just struck up a conversation with this nice gentleman. So, uh, where are you from? My name is Colton. I'm from San Francisco, and this is my first year here at Burning Man. It is completely unimaginable, the things that I have seen here, and I cannot describe properly what this place really means and the things I've seen. It's just... Miraculous! It's oh, great. Uh, are things different in any way? I think you mentioned things are bigger scale. It's so many more people than I could have imagined. Uh, it's, it is a city all in its own. It's beautiful, and everyone has yeah, such a good, a warm good feeling here, where you can just right. walk up to anyone, say Let's hello, have a good conversation with them, and then be on your way. And it's all that's right, how Allison, everyone should really Allison be. Packard, it's a great example Paige of a Allison utopia. Yeah. That's very cool. I think that's around. one of the best things about Burning Man. Right. Right. Kind of the the uh, unjudgmental well, love everybody gives to everybody else. Either. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel that that's lost yeah. a lot yeah. in, re in our reality, in our world. When I get back, it's going to be hard acclimating back into real things. I'm going to probably take a lot of Burning Man home with me. And I know I will. It's changed me a lot in a very good way. How would you describe the center camp here? We're here in center camp. Center camp here is... For those that don't know what it's like. Are you scheduled? It's, no. well, it's a care. communal place it's where... What do you do? That it's always a circus. But a fun oh, circus. Know. There's always uh, something to see yeah. and I bet you, you can relax. And schools, it's almost and as if it were a schools. civic center in a real community. Oh, interesting. In a real city. Uh -huh. But the best right. civic center I've ever Digit, been to because there's always camp. something we going on and there's the always stage. people here. Does anybody have a drum that they want yeah, to volunteer here to the stage? There's uh, people in the center doing the acrobatics. Here we're at open mic. Uh, the other okay. place is a stage of kind of break? offbeat performance. We got some coffee, okay. yeah, which they yeah, spiked it for me this morning. That was morally. Did the human being back behind the counter here? No, the uh, people walking around with Kahlua bottles just poured it into my coffee. Yeah, this is the only thing you can buy at, at all in Burning Man is coffee, hot chocolate, and tea at the Center Camp Cafe. It's kind of cool. It's a nice little service. It's refreshing. I haven't had coffee or a cold drink since I got here on Monday morning, right when the gates opened. So, yeah, you know how to play come it Friday, it's really, or Saturday now, gosh, it's okay. well deserved. Shy, right? What's happening tonight? The man yeah. is going to burn. <laughs> it's my first time seeing it, and I'm so excited. What's your name, I, I don't know what to expect. Sasha, and you are? Uh, can you describe what the weather's been like? The and weather, you when are? we first got here, there was a right. crazy right, downpour, right. and the downpour and actually Lowry helped to keep circle. everything down, so uh -huh. the weather's been perfect the job. beginning of the week. And last night, a crazy dust storm happened, and well, you just couldn't see anything. And now it's still slightly windy and dusty. I got my my band or my scarf here to wrap around my face. And my your goggles. goggles yeah. yeah, you gotta have that. It's necessary. Yeah. But I love the weather, and it's not real hot. The breeze actually helps to cool you down. 
The dust is good sunscreen. sunscreen. Can you describe any of the art you've seen? This is my reality. Uh, is there's my reality. something called a pyrosphere, which is a sphere made out of metal. And at the vertices, there are valves of propane where computer generated sequences create fire all around the pyrosphere, and it's beautiful to watch. A lot of fire here, and that's, that's really the beautiful thing. But also, electricity, all the bright lights at night, it's. It's more lights than I would see in Las Vegas. This is the best city on earth. <laughs> it's only for a week. It's kind of a hippie Las Vegas here, huh? Yeah, which is much better than the real deal. The real Las Vegas, because the hippie Las Vegas, you get to do whatever you want as long as you're respecting and loving each other. It's utopia, there's nothing wrong. I also like to compare it to Neverland Ranch, Michael Jackson's place, because uh, it has a similar sentiment. I was wondering whether Michael Jackson would have ever come here, but he liked his comforts and his bodyguards, so I'm not sure that would have worked out. But. I think you're right, though. I think he would have enjoyed the thing, this essence that we've built here. I think that's something he was trying to do. I have respect for him, I do. <laughs> and I didn't even pay him to say that. No, nope, no. Nope. Those are my own sentiments. <laughs> See, I'm a somewhat of a Michael Jackson expert in the Santa Barbara area because I made a film about him and I worked for him a while back. Yeah. So it's good to get some unsolicited pro Michael Jackson thoughts. Yeah, I mean, I, he died on my birthday a year ago oh. and my mom was a huge fan ever since she was a child. So me growing up, I listened to his music and I was aware of him and he was an entertainer. But as we digress completely from Bernie Dash. <laughs> Any last thoughts to the folks out in TV land? This is going to be on Community Access in Santa Barbara. Really? Well, I say to all of you folks watching right now, I recommend that everyone come and have this experience because you'll never understand it until you actually get out here. And that's something that I personally found out this year. Okay, thanks. I'll do a pan now. Alright. You can stay where you are. I have the camera in a plastic bag, so I don't have access to the controls. That's why the camera works a little funky. Cool, unfeeling tears drool down faces from peeking eyes of stunned young children. So this is our resident cowboy, he filled up our gas can. Oh, you're looking good there. Well, hey, nice talking with you, Mark. Yes. And uh, nice seeing your good looks there. And I'm going to be at your party tonight, uh, yeah. sometime after sunset, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see that. Okay. All right. All right, see, you, see later. you later, Mark. Yeah, we have copious te tequila. Oh, really? Copious amounts of tequila. Okay, I'm Come pacing on. myself so I can enjoy it. Yeah, you so gotta yeah. pace yourself a little bit here for a minute. Yeah. We'll be later. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It isn't Debbie oh, yeah. Murphy and Mark King. How you guys yeah. doing? Great. Hey, hey, how you I doing? Drew on you. you drew on me, yes. Yeah. We're here at the art car. Yeah. That says Art On, Burning Man 2010. He went to would be toy spinning what was on that? a trampoline. Oh, that would be cool. And like, we need to have someone who's like really good at trampoline too, so they can do flips while doing like the weave. Like back. Sorry about it, ladies, but I hope you can take it. Now let's start uh, with you. What do you like about Burning Man? Me? Um, should I look at the camera? You, you can look at me. Actually. Okay. I, <laughs> really. Um, I just love the atmosphere and the people here that are just like everyone's so loving and caring and like we all kind of respect each other except for you know for a few people and then I also love the culture here the art and the free the 
just the free expression that everyone has to just be who they want to be and be who they are. Really? Yeah. What are some of your favorite art cars or installations or camps? I like ours. <laughs> yeah, I guess some I, I really love our Playa Stani car. She's a beauty. Uh, so it's, what's the name of it? Uh, it's the uh, Pyro Bar uh, for Enclave. Yeah. And, uh, and there's aerobatics off the back? Right? Yeah, we have. Um, yeah, we have aerials off the back so people, you know, climb around on the, the fabric and then we have people serving drinks in the bar um, on the sides and stuff. And then we also have um, pyrotechnics going on. So we have um, kind of like these two like things in the front that shoot out flames and then one Very at the cool. top that shoots flames. Yeah. So tell me, uh, what do you think about Burning Man? What do you like I think about it's it? probably one of the best experiences I've had. It's amazing. It's like all of this expression put into this giant like semicircle and we're all here for like the same purpose it's awesome really it's do you great. have any favorite uh things out there that you've seen um there's a lot there's too many to count but a few of my favorites is definitely our art car it's really fun to dance on um i love nexus it's like a big party nexus and then la luna lady she's awesome well, where's la luna lady la luna lady she's a giant sculpture and she oh. glows different colors at night i saw that she's it's great la, la luna and, and what is nexus nexus is right down this way close to our camp and it's like a pretty much a big party and it's an obstacle course and there's performances every night it's it's a fun time okay well thanks thanks ladies all right thank we'll see you ya. thanks bye, bye. How's your burn going? You know, it's funny. Yeah? It's my 11th burn. And you'd think I'd be used to setbacks <laughs> and challenges. <laughs> but they, they can still be annoying and frustrating sometimes. Does it have to do with having expectations? Or just Expectations, what? yes. Like expectations that I will get sleep and expectations that I will finish setting up my dome, despite not having all the poles to do so <laughs> at the moment, and expectations that I will get to spend time with the one that I love. Yes, and those, those are expectations. <laughs> one of our lessons we have to learn here is avoid the expectation. <laughs> well, you're looking good, and it sounds like you're going with the flow. Thank you. Okay, well have a good burn. You too. <laughs> How's your burn going? Hi. How's your burn going? Great, love it. Good, I'm glad you're having a good awesome. one. Good. <laughs> It's the uh, 
many people sort of wear their attitude literally for you, people will see however you dress, act slim or whatever in a whole new way. We're at Burning Man 2010 out on the playa. The playa is where all these art installations are. Another dust storm is coming up. I got a bag around my camera, but I got to cover up my camera for this dust storm. Whoa! the man he burned Saturday night and then Sunday night the temple burns and this is the temple people write messages to their loved ones that have died or or whatever messages they want and I'm going to document some of those messages on the temple walls